This is a study on how to accompany a guitar as a percussionist. And uh, this includes, this video will include cajon and palmas. Now your basic function here as usual is to make sure you're providing base for the guitarist. So as a cajon player, I can do a lot of things with variations to help um, boost what he's doing or help match what he's doing, but ultimately the guitarist really needs from me to just have a steady compas with a lot of soniquete. Same thing as a palmetto. So uh, when uh, our special guest today, Misael Barraza, who's from Hermosillo, very talented uh, guitarist, he's going to help us out today. When he comes in, he's going to play a falseta that's been made famous by uh, Moraito, a guitarist from Jerez. And uh, we're going to demonstrate with that same falseta how I would accompany first with cajon and then how I would do it with palmas. Now, um, he's going to lay down basic compas first so you can hear what tango's compas sounds like, just the chords, and then he's going to transition into what is called a falseta. It'll be like a musical variation. So he'll get away from just playing compas and he'll be playing a falseta. Now, in this uh, particular study, we're going to incorporate three of the tools that we've learned so far in the tango study, which is basic compas and fours. We all know that one. Uh, variation on that one, which is just that little, that little uh, snare sound at the end. Or a flam, if you want to. And then finally, the corte, which is just a little... Uh, you'll recall. So I'm just going to use those three tools and you'll see where they fit in. So uh, Misa, if you're ready, we're going to go ahead and get started. And again, as a percussionist, I'm going to just follow what he does and uh, and kind of boost his, his musical ideas. So... So you saw there was a lot of places I could have done cortes and things, but what I tried to play what fit best with what he was playing. So now I'm going to do, we're going to do the same falseta, but I'm just going to do palmas now. All you really have to worry about when you're doing palmas for a guitarist, especially if it's just you and the guitarist, is just to hold basse, have a nice swing, and when they cut, you cut, you cut with them. So this is not going to be any particular... Uh, variation that we've learned is just going to be straightforward compas. Okay? So I'll say that again. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, good. Uh, much, uh, much appreciated to Misa. And uh, in the next video study on accompaniment, we'll be using uh, Misa to demonstrate some bolerias for us.